We should start thinking about livestock farming. We should be able to milk our regular income out of a couple of cows. Take a closer look at the new cattle shed. Then you can go and buy five cows. That should be enough to begin with. In the cattle shed, you can also check how an individual cow is doing, how much milk it produces, and how old it is. A cow only produces good milk when it's just had a calf, and it produces less as it gets older. You should eventually sell old cattle. Furthermore, if your animals get sick, you should call the vet to your stable. So now, it's just a case of waiting for the cows to produce a thousand kilos of milk. Then I'll show you how to turn that milk into cold, hard cash. select the milk, as that's what we want to sell, right? You do want something for your milk, don't you? Now, enter an amount. Probably best to sell it all at once this time. But you're free to set the amount as you wish. Since the market price varies, sometimes it's worth waiting for the better price. But for now, we're happy to be rid of the milk, right? Ah, yeah. Here comes old Herbert in his little truck to pick it all up. Actually, He's not even called Herbert, really. I just can't remember his real name. I'll ask him sometime. Uh, perhaps. Newborn calves need to grow first before they're ready to give milk. But only the female ones. The male calves are sent straight to the village slaughterhouse. Ah, yes. Something else. The stable only has limited space for milk and meat. You can extend it though, so you have a bit more space to store them. You reap what you sow. But you need to sow something first. The field is lying far. This is where your new tractor comes in useful. Place it in the first empty vehicle slot. Just click and drag it over. Oh, if only everything was that simple. You can use a plow, as not it? And now, give a big giddy-up and everything happens as if by magic. No, oh, seriously. You need to give a worker the task of driving the tractor. Drag a worker to the tractor. Um, 
and into the free slot. Okay, now, your field's been ploughed. After ploughing comes seed bed preparation, right? So it's the same story once again. Send your tractor to... <laughs> Seems like you're getting the hang of this field management stuff. But now it's time to sow some corn. We do the same as we did before. You'll have to store the corn somewhere, of course. We'll build a silo for that now. And when I say we'll build a silo, I mean of course. flourish. For this to happen, it's important that you constantly provide the corn with the best conditions. That means fertilize at low land values. Fungicide and pesticide if necessary. You'll need to guard them. Uh, uh, monitor. You're following the same pattern you have so far. You can fertilize your field and keep it free from vermin and fungi.
Veronica, the corn is ready. It's time to harvest. You can probably work out how the harvesting goes. You're a real pro now. Remember to build a second silo first, this time a large one, so there's enough storage space, and so that you can go ahead with harvesting.